Hey folks, I'm to Vainglory, and welcome to part 20 of my playthrough as Congo in Europa Universalis 4. So we are preparing for war with Rwanda. Uh, we've got our royal marriage with them, so we're going to lose some stability for that. But I reckon that's my best chance of making some gains now. We are working our way around the, the coast um, with colonies, having missed out on the Cape itself to Spain. We've got some more colonies up here. Uh, we were hoping to get some inroads into Mali, but that's proven a bit difficult just now. So Rwanda presents us with the best opportunity to expand, and we're going to go ahead and take that. We can take uh, Military Tech 12, but it's a bit expensive right now, so I need to wait until we have embraced uh, colonialism which is just a matter of building up the cash. So for now, let's just bring these armies over. This is the army that's protecting our colony, so let's just go with these two. Have you allied with anybody, Rwanda? No. And we're also trying to get uh, Batua to agree to vassalization. Cl getting close. Let's see if we manage it. Do you have Cav? No, you don't. Okay, split off one cab from in here. You join in there. And I think we'll put our mercs in with that general. In fact, it's our ruler. Yeah, our ruler's not the best. That's not our ruler. He's not the best either. Our heir's not much better. At least this guy's given us a bit of an advantage in mill. I'm wondering about trading off some, uh, what do you call it, army maintenance. To get us up to embra embracing um, colonialism earlier. Can't afford them, so... 5% discipline is fine. Win another war against the natives. This is not right. Uh, he's supposed to be there. You're supposed to be there. That's better. Damn, they've got up to take 12 as well. Still. I'm sure we'll be able to take them. Just through the weight of numbers. Be interesting to see if we can get them to vassalize with us. without having to uh, do anything other than improve relations.
We shall see. Down to right, okay, yeah. Uh, hopefully that's down to reinforcement. Doesn't look like it though. And we can embrace colonialism. Yeah, let's go ahead and embrace it. Get our maintenance back up. Just about stay positive. No, that's not what I wanted. It's better. And now it costs us only 617. That's much more like it. Plains Warriors. And again. Not to deal with corruption. So we're going to have to take out a loan now. Diplotech. As well, go ahead and do that. Uh, 100 population there. And we'll soon be able to get admin tech 11. I'd taken expansion ideas when the plan was to expand as quickly as possible around the coast here. But now it's not really any use to me. Another colonist isn't going to do me any good. I'm actually just thinking I might go down to one colony when Matet was done, uh, just to help me save a bit more money. Lose f <laughs> lose five professionalism. Yeah, okay. I don't want to go and take loans. Let's get maintenance back up. And there we go. Get textile manufacturers. Now I'm just looking here at our mill power. It's going to work out for us, I hope. But we can go up to tech 13 before we hit Rwanda. That would be ideal. But to uh, kill was still at peace, it seems. And Rwanda know what's coming. Not daft. Ever since his childhood, Diogo I has been fascinated by the tales of faraway places and as a king he has been actively promoting voyages of discovery and colonisation. 700 population in Mutetua, that's a waste. Gain a conquistador, conquistador with 5th tradition would be useful. Or an explorer with 5th tradition. I don't need an explorer. Um, so, yeah, not taking the population, we'll take the conquistador. Fifty tradition. Fifty tradition gets me four pips. Not very good. Anyway, let's take Miltech 13. And it's our 
artillery where we can improve. Go for large cast iron cannon. And with that, I guess we go to war. So we're going to lose stability. I'm going to have to take a loan. Which I'd rather not, but never mind. Yep, go for it. You get in there, you go for the capital. In fact, you should go for the capital, really. Unless catch them in there. Maybe slow it down a bit. Right. Okay, you back in there. Start occupying. Can we follow them? Looks like it. I'm wondering about whether I can spare two thousand men from here. Just hit them there and then come back. Get in there actually. Sit in there. Another good victory for us there, so and it's a stack wipe. So, there, there, and there. Actually, I don't know. I wondered whether we might have been able to hold off the loan by our looting, but I guess not. Lose 50 dip. Ten loyalty for the merchant guilds. Uh, I think we'll lose a dip, to be honest. Might bring us in a bit more money. Make me have a loan. So. This should go f fairly straightforwardly. Mostly want that. Okay. Maybe something like that. Let's see how we go. No, oh well. It wasn't that great in here. So we we'll mourn his loss for a few seconds. I was going to say I can vassalize. No, I can't vassalize Rwanda. They'll be too big. They'll have over a hundred development, I'm pretty sure. Colonists. Oh, the natives rose up in the Tetwa again. Lose another two and a half army professionalism or nobility will lose ten loyalty. 
Shaba area. So that whole region. Um, unrest is minus 2.8. Probably the same all over. So they'd get 8. So it'd be 5.2 unrest. I guess I'm going to lose the professionalism. I think we'll survive. Okay. Can you get looting? Definitely need to take enough money to pay off that loan. Um, what's things down here? Still at minus four. Up here, still good up there. I like this Oya and Batua only. Of course. I think and the Tetwa going to be called our colonist and I'll get him off to start a new one. I'll go for one here. I think I will. I would like to start eating into Kilwa. Yeah, okay. Head for there. We need our fleet. Stop being mothballed. Make your way around there. And this colony will be done soon enough as well. Well, actually, actually, in that case, fleet. Just going to soil. This army is going to come down to that colony and we'll just continue up here as well. We need stability. There we go. Just in time. So that money will be nice. No, we didn't offer tribute. I can't get war reps. Do you want to get them to release anybody? I don't think I can anyway, no. I guess that's it. Send that offer. Nicely done. Bring everybody back down here. And we'll stick up autonomy. You guys go up there. Actually, when that's done, just infantry, you guys come over here, sit in that colony for me. Make cores where we can. 
to corruption is fairly significant. Lots of provincial unrest, etc., etc. I'm going to repay this loan. Okay. Let's. Oh, he's done. Leg it. Leg it. Leg it. Leg it. Let's. Leave him there for another tick. National unrest minus one would be useful, so we'll take that. And uh, yeah, so we call this colonist, and we'll send them off to. Matsolo. Detach your mercs and they can come up here. And I think we'll split off a couple of cav. As well. Where do we have our unrest? No real rebel factions to worry about right now. Native raids. Hundred and fifty population in Lega. No, 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 no. It was fifty. Yeah, that's fine. The new heir to the throne, and again, he's not that good. Here yet, goodness me. I think we'll just take the 50 admin power this time since I'm not paying for level 3 advisors yet. Let's reduce our army maintenance a bit. Of weeks before the colonist gets there. And we have our colony in Matsolo. And Zaku. Let's find out where you are first. That's not what I'm looking for. Surely. Anzuku, there we are, that's better. So, trade power. Tax. Manpower. No, we have to go for trade, I believe. Worrying about the money. Because I've got three colonies on the go. I 
Oh yeah, Lego gets set back, didn't it? Okay, so I'm going to have to just cope with that for now. Um, where are we? 981. So a few months, we shouldn't end up in debt. Produce production in Rund. Always welcome. Nothing to be done in here. I suppose I can start building a spy network in Kilwa now, get myself some fabricated claims. Batua. We need more improved relations. It's slipped down so far. What else could I do in there, potentially? To get them to accept vassalization. Okay. The leg is self-sustaining. That should help us out significantly. Still not doing too well. I suppose corruption could be much better. New idea, no thank you. I don't want to fabricate claims on overseas colonial regions. In the near future, anyway. Meet your core. Well, actually, I'm just looking here, we're up at 187 already, so we should be able to get to agree to vassalization. And then they're still only at tech 11, so we've now got a distinct advantage on them. Show me, show me what you want. It's not showing me where their claims are. If they lost their claims, maybe that's the problem. Might be. But anyway, let's recall the diplomat. Still at 11, it should be okay. And now we've got problems in the colony. I can't afford to lose the ducats. Settle chance minus 5%, we'll settle. I think we're going to go for that. Yeah. We'll take that, save our money. Where we can. Things under coring. And just hope for the best. Uh, so I'm going to put a break in here. In the next part, I hope to be able to go to war with Kilwa. Uh, ideally, we'd have been able to give Batua some lands. We'll see what we can do there. But. I think I want to get finances under control before I go commit myself to any wars. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a vid uh, comment, rate the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content and hope to see you again next time. 
Cheers.